Hi, I'm Dr. Vidisha, pediatrician and pediatric pulmonologist at Bellinus Champions Hospital, Sarjapura Road. Does your child sleep adequately? Well, many of you would be surprised to know that when your child is asleep, he's not only resting, he's also growing. Growth hormone, one of the important hormones which regulates growth, is secreted predominantly while a child is sleeping. That's the reason why a newborn baby sleeps for longer duration because it has the maximum requirement of the growth. As per the recommendations, a newborn baby can sleep for up to around 17 hours in a day. A toddler sleeps for around 11 to 14 hours in a day. A school-going ch child, the sleep requirement can range from somewhere 9 hours to 12 hours in a day. Sleep is also very important for learning. Your child's brain consolidates all the knowledge that it has gathered all through the day and makes them into memories when the child is sleeping. So it is absolutely necessary that the child gets adequate sleep because he has been gathering a lot of information all through the day, right? There has also been studies which have shown that children who are not adequately rested, they tend to become aggressive, they have behavioral issues. There have been many studies showing increased incidences of attention deficit, hyperactivity and impulsivity in children with disordered sleep. Sleep also regulates weight in children. So how does that happen? When we eat food, there is a hormone called as leptin which is secreted, which sends signals for satiety and fullness. It has been seen that in children receive sleep is impaired, the secretion of this hormone leptin is impaired, which means that the children will eat excessively and they put on weight. This is also the other way around. Children who are obese, they tend to have disturbed sleep in the form of obstructive sleep apnea. It then gets into a vicious cycle wherein they go on to put on excessive weight and end up into morbid obesity. Disturbed sleep in children leads to the release of stress hormones which over a period of time is detrimental to the cardiovascular health. Chronic diseases in adults like hypertension, blood pressure or diabetes have been traced back to inadequate sleep during childhood. There are also evidences supporting that inadequate sleep in children leads to increased incidences of viral and respiratory illnesses. Causes of disturbed sleep in children can vary from external causes or internal causes. External causes, uh, which means environmental causes, could be excessive screen time, uh, poor sleep hygiene, or behavioral issues, uh, sometimes family dynamics. This can lead to inadequate sleep in children. However, there are so many other causes which are actually organic causes, which means there is something underlying going on which can be medically corrected. Most common cause are obstructive sleep apneas, which is due to enlarged adenoids or tonsils. This is a very, very common condition seen in children. Other causes are obesity, some anatomical variations of the upper airways in children, sometimes bedwetting, some uh, neurological conditions which can lead to obstruction of the upper airways, sometimes some epilepsy syndromes, restless leg syndrome, and sometimes central hyperventilation syndromes, and so on and so forth. So these are the conditions wherein your child needs medical attention and it can be corrected. So when should you seek medical attention? If you think your child is breathing from mouth, he's snoring, there are frequent awakenings in the night, he's irritable, or if there is bedwetting, or even if you think your child is not growing adequately, or there are behavioral issues, then yes, please do see your doctor and seek help.
Let's help our children sleep better. Thank you.